Happy birthday. Hi. Morning. Morning. How do you sleep, Papa? Yeah. Yeah. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. <laughs> It's your birthday, it's your birthday! <laughs> Wowee! <laughs> Wowee, baby! <laughs> the... <Ooh>. Yay! <laughs> Can I water the... Pretend water it? Shh, shh, shh. And then that'll spin when there's water in it. Oh, what next? Hmm, let me slide. Wow. Oh, oh. Look. Yeah, you want to go down it? Well, I'll just take those balloons out of there. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, Barney likes a ball pit. You play with a ball pit when you're a puppy, that's why you did. Oh, you see the balloon? Whee! Three, two, one. Anna, this is fun fun. Oh, my God. Wow, your first ever birthday card. Oh, really? Well, to be fair, you got some when you were. First born, you got lots. To a wonderful daughter on your birthday. I wonder where this one's from, mate. No wonder. Oh, it's a long one. <laughs> to our beautiful darling girl, we love you so very much. Oh, you want to look at it? Mm. Okay. You want to read it, Daddy? Can you read it? No matter words will ever truly explain the love that we have for you. <laughs> You're the light of our lives and our greatest adventure yet. You've grown so much in one year. Your little personality is funny, kind, observant, and very chill. We cannot wait to see what the next year will bring. Mum. Yeah, mum and dad. What about this one? Ooh. I have a feeling this one's from Granny and Gramps. Ta. Granny and Gramps, you open. Okay, to daddy, thank you. You are one today with lots, with love and best wishes for an extra special first birthday. Open it. Wow, what is it? What is it, baby? It's a whale sprinkler. Bunny, bunny, bunny. Bye -bye. What more could you want? <laughs> yeah, hopefully we can play with that soon. Hey, whale sprinkler. <laughs> yeah. We'll take it out and you can play with it. No, I want to play with it now. Slide <laughs> What's in inside? <gasps> wow. Ooh, that's a pretty number. Paul Smith. Oh my lord. So cute. Hey. Oh, you want the remote? Yeah. I think this might be one of your fave ones from Mum and Dad. <laughs> oh. What is it, Baba? Promise you'll like this one. <laughs> just, just do it. She'll really like this one, hopefully. <laughs> what you have? Oh my goodness, you've got your own remote! Yay! Woohoo! <laughs> wow, there we go. 
Wow, yeah. Is it going to turn the telly on? I have to pretend it turns something on so that she actually keeps liking it <laughs> and doesn't use the actual remotes. I'm making it so hard I think that remote works for the TV. You press one of the buttons. Press. She's like, I want Miss Rachel. Oh! Good morning. It is the 6th of July, 2024, and Miss Ida's birthday. I'll have to show um, what this is. Basically, it's a photo of every single, like a photo collage of every month that Ida has been here. So there's 12 months in total. And honestly, I feel emotional today. I also feel like it doesn't feel real. Like, how do I have a one month old? Um, I woke up at 6.16 today and Ida was born at 6.32 a.m. And I watched the clock strike 6.32 and I just felt like incredibly like, fortunate for the year that we've had. I mean, there have been highs, there have been lows, there have been bumps, there have been curves. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can't have highs without lows. And this week in particular has been very trying. Ida has been teething. She's also had a viral like infection for like four weeks, but it was at its peak um, for the last six days. She broke out in a rash because of it. And it was just a crazy time. Um, and I wasn't well. I don't know if it's long C or um, if it's just like, yeah, I mean, the doctors keep saying it's a viral infection that I just, my body can't seem to get rid of. I've been on antibiotics for five days, still have it, um, but I feel better um, in the sense that like I feel human. But I also feel human because I've actually had two nights of decent sleep um, because it was like five or six nights of waking up every hour and then having Isla with us and yeah, it was just a crazy time. But let's forget about that because we're over that hurdle <laughs> and it is Isla's first birthday. I'm just doing my hair. I've not done my makeup since it's been a week. Um, so yeah, it's mission try and get me looking presentable. I've got a sore tongue, really random. I've got like a sore on my tongue um, and like it's making me have to swallow because I've got a build up of saliva. Um, so that's fine, I've had that for like three days, but there's nothing, there's like a bit of open skin, so I don't know if I've like heard it when eating, I don't remember biting it, but yeah, I just, if I talk lots, then I feel like I get a build up of saliva and I have to swallow. So it's never, never a dull moment in this household. Um, I will make sure that I try and take videos and photos today. I've just done FaceTimes with my family in Oz, which is really lovely. And hopefully we can do another one because Isla was getting a little bit tired. She's napping now. Um, yeah, so come along with us and see how we celebrate my baby's first birthday. <laughs> It's play. There was two holes that we lost, and we had a shot of both. You tickling. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ida. Happy birthday to you. The aftermath. The aftermath. <laughs> this needs to change to four now. 72 centimeters, nearly nine kilos. Mama, Dada, Ba, yeah, and Ta. <laughs> so cute. 
Oh, Barney boy. Have you had a great birthday? <laughs> yeah, I think you have. Okay, everyone's gone now. And we've got the football. <laughs> nice one. We've got the football on. Is England going to win? That is the question. Are they? You don't know. You had a good birthday party. Yeah. <laughs> to do it all again tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> We want Anna to grow up, do we? <laughs> we want her to be a baby forever and ever and to need us forever and ever. I mean, she will need us just in a different way, won't she? First tears, <laughs> and it's, it's the time, but even though eight something, seven something, <laughs> nine, then we've done well. <laughs> Good morning, another day, another dress. <laughs> um, it is Sunday now and we are having family over to celebrate little one. She's just watching the wiggles, if you can hear that in the background. I think I mentioned yesterday about my tongue. I mean, it doesn't look as bad there, but honestly, it's hard to eat and I love my food. I'm just constantly sore. I've just taken some paracetamol and I'm gonna put some Bongella on it to see if that helps. But literally I can just feel it constantly and it's just not a vibe. <laughs> so we are pretty shattered. I mean, having two kind of get togethers consecutively one day after the other would be tiring if you weren't kind of sick and had a crazy month already of sickness and just all sorts going on. But yesterday was a success, it was lovely, celebrating the beautiful Isla baby and she's happy and healthy so I wasn't going to cancel anything. <laughs> the weather ended up being a lot better than we thought and today it said it was meant to storm pretty much all afternoon and at the moment it's saying there's like an hour of storms um, but the rest of the day is sunny and pleasant so that is good so hopefully it means that everyone can be outside again as well as some people being inside. I'm um, just having that flexibility, which is great. It literally hurts to talk with this thing. I don't know if it's just been like, because I don't remember burning my tongue or biting my tongue. So I don't know if it's just like stress related, because um, it hurts. <laughs> and I've just got like loads of um, Vaseline on my lips because my lips are like really dry as well. So anyway, positive vibes. I've got a pretty dress on. I don't think I'm wearing this today. I just did it to get my fringe out of my face. No, that's not for you. Isla loves these. Like I've got the little figurines. What are they called? Willow tree figurines. And the labels Isla loves. To try and get them, don't you? Cheeky girl. Oh, but yes, so bring on today. Oh, the one nearly fell <laughs> on me. Um, yeah, celebrating Isla. And I'm sure everyone will be happy to hold Isla and Yesterday was good. I was like in the kitchen a little bit, but I made it, like I said to my partner, I just want it to be, because obviously Isla's parties were like parties, um, <laughs> were like organized months, like I forget what month it was. I think it was like April or beginning of May or something that I like sent out the invites um, for the little get togethers. So yeah, um, I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I forget where I was going with that. Um, but yeah, I wanted to make sure that like I wasn't just stuck in the kitchen and not like spending time with Isla, obviously. Um, so we did like sausages and burgers and barbecues. My partner did that, and everything else was like pre-sorted. So yeah, and that's pretty much the same vibe today, which is good. All I have to do is make like a spinach dip that I make, and then apart from that and the cake, I should be fine to. Uh, Stop it, you're being cheeky. I'm gonna have to move these. You're at the perfect height now. Mummy had to move her figurines. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm waffling on. I'm gonna do my makeup. It's like 10, 15, but if I don't do it now, I won't be able to do it. 
hoping Isla will go down at like 11ish for a nap. Usually it will be earlier, but she slept a lot last night. Um, she didn't have her second nap yesterday because obviously there was a lot going on. So she slept really well and had a sleep in. So yeah. All right, let's go. <laughs> All I'm going to say is thank the Lord for makeup. <laughs> Honestly, now to decide whether to be bothered to do my fringe or to cut up. That is a real question because I don't think I can walk around like this. It doesn't look awful, but maybe if I pin my fringe back and then put that in to make sure that it doesn't. Yeah, I just can't be bothered to do anything with my hair. <laughs> Party's on to start at 12. Isla is still asleep. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Happy birthday to 